Leona, would you pick that up for me? Leona? Yes, Dr. Jarrett. What do you mean, gone? It's wonderful. What's the power source? Electricity? Yes. Through the tracks. Very primitive. I like the way it smokes. The locomotive sends up little puffs. They're interesting. We should go. Michael, come on. Excuse me. My name is Harris, store security. Just saw you take something out of the store. Oh, sorry, of course. I wanted to experiment with it. There seem to be an incredible number of color combinations. I'll have to ask both of you to come back to the store. Why, he returned it, no harm done. Shoplifting's a crime, sir, if you'll come with me. Are you saying you're going to call the police over an item that's worth a few dollars? It's not the cost of the merchandise. Now, you listen to me very carefully. Neither one of us is going back inside that building. You understand? You have no idea what you're doing. Get in the car. Now, just a minute. My name is Dr. Carl Forrester. Driver's license, government security card. If you have a problem about this, call me tomorrow. But that man is a patient of mine, and you do him irreparable damage if you don't stop this nonsense. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I didn't... Do you think I forged these credentials so that we could steal a toy? Well, then stop acting like a fool. Describe your condition. I'm stable. Are you ready for this? I think so. Now, I've told my wife that you're a new staff member at the lab. Your name is Smith, Dr. Michael Smith. Not very inventive, but we need something for introductions. Michael! Problem? No, just thinking. It's a strange place to be baptized. A garage. Dinner's ready, such as it is. I must apologize, Dr. Smith. It's really potluck. My husband didn't give me much notice, as usual. I'm sure it'll be fine, Mrs. Forrester. Dorothy, please. Why don't you sit there? Carl has no tolerance for stereotypes, but he's turning into one. The absent-minded scientist. I'm not absent-minded. Empirical proof you can't find the corkscrew. He even forgot his tuxedo when we went to Stockholm. 
That was for the Nobel, wasn't it? You've got to stop slipping that into every conversation. Absolutely not. Speaking of memory, weren't you going to leave out that suit so that I could have it clean? Beware of any profession which requires clean clothes. If you're going to quote Thoreau, be accurate. He said, new clothes. Aren't you going to pour Dr. Smith some wine? Well, he doesn't. I don't drink. Oh, well, can I get you something else? A glass of water? No, thanks. Well, you must be hungry. I'll get the salad. What do I do about the food? How long have you been working at the lab, Dr. Smith? Um, a few months. What's your field? Solid state physics. Oh. Then you two work together. Sometimes. Michael's uh, researching a related project. Anything you can talk about? Afraid not. Uh, I used to think Carl couldn't keep a secret. But the work at the lab is sacred. Not a word in five years. Well, it's classified. Actually, I think you all are down there perfecting the ultimate can opener. Oh, nothing as useful as that. Uh -huh. Is something wrong? Pardon? You haven't touched your salad. I guess I'm not very hungry. <clears throat> Do we still have that pepper mill? Probably. Why? You never use pepper. Oh, sun craving, indulge me. What? I don't know where I put it. Oh? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's not important. No, I must have packed it away somewhere. Our neighbors have dogs. They must have treated a cat. Excuse me. We have to go. But you haven't eaten. Oh, we can get something later. Michael? Is it the department store? Did they send someone? No, people from the lab. <sighs> Minor crisis, nothing to be concerned about. But when will you be home? A few hours. Thank you. Hmm. Nice meeting you, Dr. Smith. Brief as it was, come again when you can spend more time. Thank you for your hospitality. Thank you. 